Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors to do with me, this with me. If you're Omai and if you're Olu or Hi. Up, Hello. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Recovery from the weekend, right? Mm, uh, the weekend was fun. Salah was fun. Uh, I think mm. I want another Salah weekend. Like, mm. Yeah, I saw that on your I mean, we, we didn't mm. start early, you know, but mm. we still caught up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I haven't caught up yet. When I ate a ram, then I was still caught up. Yeah. Oh, you haven't? I haven't. You I haven't? haven't. Mm. Oh, haven't. I'm going to be your supplier, baby. Okay, girl. But Twitter Talk people me. say if you don't have ram, what did they say on Twitter? It was a dollar dubu. What have you done in your <laughs> My people are unaccessible. Oh. I'm afraid of COVID-19. Ram over COVID-19. Even my suya man gave me ram. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That means you want me to dollar the book. Oh, you're doing well. You're doing well. Okay. Oh, All right. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's start with this one about Whiskey, who is saying that Disney owes him hundred million dollars. Just sit down a bit. If you watch, okay. Okay, so um, a lot of people still don't know why Disney owes him that much, mm. but um, I don't think it's far fetched. I don't think the reason is far fetched. I'm not mm. quoting. I'm not saying anything for you guys to quote. I don't to. think it's far fetched. Is a quote of it. Well, I don't think it's far fetched in the sense that when we saw the brown skin girl video, you can tell they were in different places. You can tell whiskey that appeared just like. 40 seconds of the video mm. and he never came back even though the party was at leaving and all mm. of that we couldn't see any of that you get there was no synergy like the already video mm. with Shatawale so um I would say um if I was if I'm looking at it from a legal perspective if I featured on a song and um it's making so much global wave right it would only be expected I'm also represented as a major contributor to that song, but that was a that was um below representation of the work that Whiskey put into that work. That's from a legal perspective. Whiskey has is that a video. Is, is that a Disney issue now or Beyonce issue? Mm. Um who is in charge of the he's not going to go after Beyonce. Did Disney who is in shoot charge? the video for Beyonce? Well, mm. That we do not know. Uh -huh. That we do not know. Okay, but so I believe yeah, so these right. are just speculations that and um for you to you don't know what legal battles they've been having like no you can't put the video I mean, out there. Watch, I, 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 I can't the travel video, yet. Actually, I can't travel yet yet so i can't be in the video i don't think I don't the music think video has anything to do with it there's like right? um there's a lot of features that the music the fe the featured artist doesn't yeah but show it depends on the, the contract video. to the artist that it still doesn't even matter featured. really because royalties don't affect music videos except there's a different royalty for music videos but what i know is that your royalties is for the song how how the, how the song does and based on digital presence so um, that has nothing to do with whether or not the person features. 100 million. Dollars. But that's why so I was going to, is things. that I don't know how he even came to that figure, one, because... He's whiskey. No, it's for, uh, that's why I'm thinking it's a speculation, because for you to say 100 million, you've done the math, and how can you do the math of some of a song My that is kind of like still... My phone couldn't do the math of $100 dollars. But yeah, anyway, continue. Mm, I don't... Uh, how do you come up with that figure? Who, 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 I, do you have the back end to the songs and all the platforms that it's How on? much has um, Beyoncé um, made from, from that song? Do you know, there are a lot of unanswered questions yeah. in this particular story. Now, first of all, the song is doing so well. Speaking of royalty, I'm glad you brought, brought that up. Because the song is doing so well, it's under them billboard number ones, like how many times and all of that. What if he's not being remitted with the money? I, I think he that is, because that, that, that would have come up before now. He's talking to Disney, so this is about not Disney. Busy. Yeah, so I don't think he has an issue no, with... If there's this a song legal, came out if, ages if, ago. If there's don't a legal forget. issue with a particular song that we are still dragging, and you go ahead to release a video of a song that is probably in court, that we are still dragging on now the you money... You think Beyonce not, and Whiskey will, will have a... a a song in court what's, what's around, and, and, and we wouldn't have known about it. Come on, that's exactly the reason think, why we would I not think, know about it. And then all of a sudden, you now he bring that thing up. Right uh -uh, now, he's capping. I don't know what he's up he's to. Capping. I don't know. Whiskey, whiskey don't what cap on nothing. Uh, oh, on yeah, nothing. We'll, we'll keep on watching nothing. and see how this unfolds. But if this is a legit case, then Twitter is not the place. This is not 
whiskey jacket. It's, it's people that are bantering. No, it's people that are bantering. No, he tweeted. Uh, he tweeted. No, he tweeted that Disney owes me hundred million dollars. I can come out and be like, LC owes me hundred million dollars. Me and LC knows what we're doing. Which is why we are saying we know what we are dragging. Right? Then people are like, ah, is it that she said something defamatory about him on the show that is now taking her to court? You know, people are the ones coming up with different ideas of why. He, he may be owed that amount. Good day to wake up. Disney owe, Disney owe me $100 million. Yeah, people so, are the ones coming up with the reasons why Disney is owing it. So we're saying the same thing. So we don't know is. the reason. <laughs> and what could it be that we would cap $100 million? I mean, maybe the video or whatever he did with them is yet to come out, but we'll be watching and see how that goes. But right. kudos to him, though. Mm. Please, Sha, when you get it, mm. you know, zero nine. Six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to Ghana right now. Shatawali tells how the government secretly helped him travel for the already video shoot. Explaining how Ghanaians had no idea of the shoot, he said, quote, the airport understood that um, he said he wanted his trip to be kept a secret and they worked that out um, for him. And of course, he's getting a shout out from the president of Ghana as well. So it's balling on a different level these days. You see that being, there's levels to be on. So if she can get Africans to shut up about this whole thing for the longest time, it wasn't just Shatawali. I was very <laughs> impressed by, is on another level. by the secrecy. And I, yeah, I guess so. Because I know that she does that even with like when you hang out with her in her house and if you go out for dinners. And so that's why you don't really see paparazzi photos of her just anywhere, things leaking per mm. se. Um, so to see that it is it is possible for that to function in Africa, I was like, okay, kudos, girl. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, but in regards to Chatawali, I'm very happy for him. I think... Sorry, sorry to cut you. Why are we giving kudos to Beyonce for what happened with Chatawali? We're giving kudos, kudos to, to her uh, NDA yeah. crosses. I mean, this started it's strong enough when to actually she did keep people silent. What was the first um, blackish album she did lion king album right. i mean nobody knew about it until yeah. there was an announcement even the one she did with before the lemonade we had a nigerian doing the whole artwork on the body and mm. he we couldn't even say anything about until it. the announcement was made so her nda is it's strong whatever is in this there Shatawale? i'm still lost i'm sorry guys because it was also because that was now. why he had to ensure that Ghanaian yes, government we helped him yeah. move in secrets because it could not be a public information so he yeah. is now coming out to give kudos as to, to help them why to also they help him, him yeah. achieve that. Okay, but did he mention that it was because of our NDA that he had to keep no, it? No, no. Do you have to mention that? You you know. No, it's, I think it it should be mentioned. They've never it's, ever mentioned. No, no. Let me it. tell you why I don't think the NDA affects this, right? Because a lot of people have been moving in and out of the country when they have very important stuff to do. So I think mm -hmm. this kudos is more of the government because a lot of people were not allowed to travel at the time that he traveled for the video shoot okay so you don't see that it is because he's working with beyonce that he wanted to keep that travel a secret you don't see no that i don't i see it because it's because he cannot be really open about why he's traveling and i'm traveling or that i'm leaving the country it's not now. because of the video essentially it's is just it? because i am not allowed nobody's allowed to leave the country at this time but people, people but he, he's saying it now anyway yeah. so if that is the issue then it's still an issue what he's talking about is that the reason the government can even help him do that is because they understand. And that's the same the reason NDA why they paid for his flight, paid for his hotel, paid for his feeding that's and all, all of that. Of he them, has a relationship with the all president. Of them, right? All of them, all of them, not just them. So whatever transpired in that space that made them go to the length of paying for his ticket and all that, we don't know about that. But this is about a video shoot that was done with Beyonce. And the conversation has been going on online regarding how her ND is actually strong. Even someone on the project could not tell his mother that he's on the project. Mm. So it's something that you have to actually give kudos for. Well, my kudos. Knowing that Shatawale is sorry kudos. to cut you, Shatawale is someone who talks. He's been in the news yeah. almost every week. I mean, he would have said something. Well, my kudos would be going to the Ghanaian government because it shows their sense of um, understanding for the creative industry. But that. do you see what triggered the Ghanaian government to even do that? Why is Akodje not back? Oh, is he back? He's back. He's been back. Why did it take that long for him to get back? To because country? the borders were closed in the country. Was when Shatawale was, was it just the country or Ghana as well? 
both countries they couldn't come into Ghana at that time, which is okay. why I'm saying that this is more of the Ghanaian government. Okay, cool. And Shatawali wasn't coming, I mean, Sakodia wasn't coming back to Ghana to present a notable award or do something notable. He just needed to come back home. Now, this is somebody that was going to work on a project. I is I a big it, deal. There's been also, evacuation think, flight over and that's over what I was going again. To say, I think, it, I think you're, 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 making, you're, you're, you're minimizing, you're over, no, not actually minimizing, you're doing the opposite. You're exaggerating the government actually because people have been traveling it's not a new thing there's exemptions it's called the exemption clause people yeah. have been going in and out and someone as deep as beyonce so um the Ghanaian government making their artists travel is not a big deal because shatawale is not the only person they did that for the big deal of this story is that it was done in secret and the reason why it was done in secret was because of beyonce but anyway but let's where was on. that stated was oh that stated gosh. anywhere that it was because of beyonce if eh? If you don't understand this, I don't, I don't want think us to be to given. As you see, give um, give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Oh yeah, who is your now, Caesar in this case? In my Caesar, my Caesar in this case is the Ghanaian government we and their okay. understanding right. of the case. All right, okay, simple. well done, Ghanaian oh. government. Yeah, Thank well you done. very much, guys, for acknowledging that. Well done to Beyonce. Mm. Tea time continues right after this short break with more stories. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tekashi 69 celebrates um, house arrest release with the release of a new music video. Mm. Mm. And he's gathering the numbers. He is. 18 million nine, views already. In 13 hours. In 13 hours. Even Beyonce, with all the, <laughs> with all the conspiracy theory, has Around not done her. it like that mm. this period. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm -hmm. He's definitely onto something. I, I, I struggle with this guy because... <laughs> He's so much noise to me. Mm -hmm. Like he irks me. The, his personality, his music, yeah. his lyrics, his everything. But for his some face. reason, his face. But for some reason, he's and I, the I can't seem to know, like pinpoint exactly what it is. Maybe he's you come and tell me crowd. he's the wizard and witchcraft now. Maybe I'll believe you. <laughs> Abi, there needs mm -mm. to be a conspiracy theory about yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like. I the only thing I like about him is that he's been through a lot and mm -hmm. he's still. First of all, doing what he loves, and he's doing what he loves well. Um, and obviously, he has a crowd for that, and I'm guessing his crowd is happy with him. So, <laughs> good luck to the guy. Yeah. I think um, this is um, Buttress's point that um, even bad publicity is good publicity, right? Mm. Because um, everybody, like, is, I want to, I want, I, okay, I wouldn't want to generalize this, but I want to believe that he's one of the most hated celebrities in America right now based right. on the... Among um, the celebrities. Yeah, among the celebrities because mm -hmm. um, they're like no snitching rule, you know, that old um, stereotype thing. And then he snitched and he's working freely. He's getting the numbers. He's making more money. He made $20 million when he was in jail. Hmm. Like, do you understand? Like... So everybody feels like this is a guy that should be blacklisted. But yet, everybody wants to know, what's up with this guy? So when he drops a music video, you can't help but go check and be like, mm. what is he up to again? Mm. What has he done again? So is the publicity around his old um, dramatic um, personnel that I would want to say is helping his brand right now because everybody still wants to know what's up with the I think, I, I think I think it's also because not everyone genuinely believes he should be blacklisted because if, mm. they, if they did, it would kind of show. Nicki Minaj, it was on that song. Nicki Minaj has a pool of artists on with her as well that you know, you're bringing to the table. I think it's public perception that we don't like snitches. Mm -hmm. But I think if you forget public perception... You snitch right. If, <laughs> 
uh, if, you, no if, you go, if you go, right. oh, well, this one is looking yeah. like it too. But there okay, is. so I have they a question for Ife actually. Yeah, me too. Remember while we're having his the conversation regarding his case and snitch and all, you said you were worried for him. Mm. Are you still worried for him? Yeah, me very, too. very, mm. very worried for him. Me too. Okay. Um, I, I even feel now that he's off house arrest is even worse because mm. the government are going to withdraw all those protection, police staying in front of your house, all yeah, those things. Be. You're on your own right mm. now. But for him so, to has, have snitched, that's the word, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing there is an agreement of protection. Of course, it's a permanent a um, police informant. It's, it's, it's a permanent informant. So, so anytime they need further information on any other person, this is their guy. I don't think he will be protected for that. He will um, be, but not, he not allows like himself because they offered him that they were going to give him a safe house, which mm -hmm. he turned down, right? Okay. So if he allows himself to be protected, he would be protected. But they, uh, what's the word now? Gangster in him doesn't want that. He wants mm. to live freely and be like, no, yeah, I, I snitched, but I did the right thing, yeah? So allow me live my life. I can get my own you security. You mentioned that there's no way to snitch, right? If you ever have found yourself in a situation where they were like, we're going to kill your family, or you snitch, will you snitch? And the people that are going to kill your family are the people you're supposed to snitch on. Mm. Um, I would first weigh my options and find That's out. That's your option. You either you kill your family or you snitch. That's my only That's option. That's your option. Uh, is there another option to these things? Well, obviously, I'll choose my family. So, is that a right way of snitching? Um, but I'll, I would want to make sure it's not a right way of snitching. Okay, so it's wrong that you made no, that decision. No, it's it's only protection this is for my family. Is that wrong? And, and, is it wrong that you protected family. your family? It's not wrong. So, that is it I right protected that you snitch family. in that situation? It's, it's not right that I snitch, but I had to protect but, my but family. But why are you holding on to these snitches, guest stitches, and all that? Do you understand that people they are snitching I'm not holding on, on to actually bad people? Stitches. Yeah. Yeah, I totally understand. I'm just saying that is the culture. Of who? Where? Culture? Where? In the and it's clear community. that it's not the culture, which is what I learned with this story, is that we say things, like, mm. right? Like, we say things that citizen is blah, 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 and we all say it. We say a lot of things, but when you go down to the individual perspective, when people sit down on the table, and it's no longer saying, and it, it's the blood that's flowing through your veins, and you know this person, the situation changes. Mm. And I think that's what's happening even with um, um, Tekashi, because... Even the way he had that live that broke the record on Instagram, there were a lot of artists. That's why I don't really believe Ife saying that he's blacklisted. I don't think he is. I think no, I didn't say he's blacklisted. I said a lot of people believe he should be blacklisted. Either way, I don't think that's true. I think he has a lot of backing, especially when he came out to explain the story that was going on with, yeah, that the, 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 with, the, tribe, with the tribe. Because you, you give loyalty to who is giving you loyalty. And they broke their loyalty first. Anyway, the point is, he's a real person. He's not just like a slang that's saying, so just get snitches. He has <laughs> real stories, and this is real real life for him and I think people understand that like movie, and yeah? honestly yes mm. they're over it I think if it to be childish of you to take that literally without using initiation to see when is necessary when you're supposed to snitch when you have to snitch like what are you protecting the people who are okay, against maybe the word in that like one is um, it won't be called snitching it will be doing doing what you got to do mm. okay. okay we have to move on <laughs> Um, I'm a feminist, but I'm not the type of woman that would not love to have a man. Being a feminist does not mean that there shouldn't be a man. As a Christian, submitting yourself to your man does not make you a fool. And this is coming from Nollywood actress Ada Ame. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I think... I, um, Wait. I don't know why people... <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand the narrative the narrative that people keep pushing that feminism equals hating men. Um it's not true. It's weird. And I don't That's not what it. she's saying. That's what people are assuming. That's no, why, but that's why where, no, where she's coming from to is say that, oh, that why feminist, would, feminists don't submit. That's even what even she's then, like feminists work in offices, you submit to your boss, you submit to your parents, you submit to we're your. We're talking about relationship now. It doesn't don't, matter. They're all the they're all relationships. Like no, my boss about, and I have we're a, about like a man formal woman, relationship. relationship. The same thing applies because at the end of the day, it isn't just a woman to submit. It, it also the man who have pos um, times in the relationship where he also has to submit. I think maybe for feminists it would be a problem if. The man is asking me to submit and he's not submitting in his own way because I'm not a servant. We're both leaders, but leading is also serving. So if you have the initiative to serve when your time is right, I would do my part as well. And that's, that's what I would do with my work, with my friend, with my boss. I think people just don't... They, you, you find pleasure in demonizing this feminism, whole right? feminism thing for and me, I'm over it. Mm, for me, I think I'm just um, tired of I'm a feminist bot. You see that phrase, whenever, I like, I'm tired of this conversation, just do you and be human. I will always say that the, the 
bottom line of this feminism movement is treating everyone with respect and equal opportunity yeah if you have that at the back of your mind then you know you don't need to carry a tag on your forehead to well maybe when you're advocating for something more serious and you have to like differentiate and all but your day-to-day -day life your relationship with your partner your boss or anything once you respect people and understand that they are not your slave as much as they serve you you have to serve them back as well then we won't be having this um a feminist but any conversation but feminists will come for you but twitter feminists will kill you like can we just let that word rest and be bring it up where people it is necessary and where it's important so i don't think i think people need to stop and leave this feminist movement to do what it's supposed to do that's for me we have um a very notable feminist chimamanda adichi and um she's married with kids all the while she has been talking about feminism, she hasn't talked about the reason why she would not submit to a man. So I think a lot of people need to educate themselves on what feminism really stands for. Now, it is different when um, you're married to a man who believes or who doesn't understand your fights for feminism and who feels like, and the fact that you're a feminist, you must still wash my clothes, you must still do this, you must do... It's okay to do it, all those things, but what about the days when you can't? Is it the type that would now be like, no, I'm the man? I'm going to do this. Now, that's not equality. That's slavery, right? So um, I want people to just know that being a feminist doesn't change the fact that you're human and you can live your day-to-day -day life like every other woman. It's just the fact that when you're being oppressed, you speak up against it and you're not going to take oppression. It's that simple. So. And I think like every other belief system, it doesn't have to perpetuate every single aspect of your life. I've never heard anyone say, when I want to eat, ah, you're a Christian, you say you're eating. I've never heard that. But like, all of a sudden with feminism, oh, so you want me to open the door for you? I thought you were a feminist. Oh, so you want me to? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm like, talking it's about. Ridiculous. Putting it, you're picking and choosing. Know. The point is, even when you say that people don't understand, I think they understand. They just don't like don't that like women have an people idea that, that isn't don't. like um like romancing the ideas of a man, like the ideas of men and the ideas of feminists. Sometimes don't go together, and I think a lot of people just don't like that. So you mock it, and then you pick and nitpick on the little things that maybe one feminist said on Twitter, and then blow it into proportion and make a joke about the whole mm -hmm. thing. But it's it, it's busting Even when the feminist is probably talking from her own personal opinion yeah. and orientation. But I like what you said, which is what I want to reiterate. Especially when we know that this conversation is based on relationship between a man and a woman. When you said leadership is about serving, and if you have two leaders, then you have two people that are ready to serve each other. And I think yep. that's what we need to understand. Even when um, the word submission is used, and a lot of people get triggered. And I'm wondering, why, why exactly are you, are you so being triggered? Because if you're saying I'm submitting to you, then it means that you're also going to submit to me mm -hmm. in a certain way as well so it's not as if I mean, even when you bring in cooking and cleaning and washing clothes i mean i'm no the kind problem. of person that won't even have that kind of conversation with you anymore mm -hmm. because i mean we're in the 21st century why exactly are we having a conversation regarding cooking and washing clothes when that can be done very easily right mm -hmm. so um I, I think people need to understand what loving a person is because i think if men really understand what love is about yeah. then you won't be triggered when you have to do certain things yeah. for someone you claim to love because it's as good as when yeah. the bible said oh wife submit to the husband yeah. and husband love um, the woman like yeah. um, Jesus Christ loved the church. You should think about how Jesus Christ actually loved the church, which is basically laying down his life. Mm. So are men ready to actually lay yeah, down their lives nice. for a woman mm. while trying to hold on to the word, the word submission? Like that's the only reason they are in this world. So I think it's better to have good conversation with whoever you're trying to yeah. have anything with. Like over the weekend, you know how you have people that will ask you out and then you say no mm. and after a while you realize that okay, I made a good decision. So we're having a conversation the guy was there and he was like i can never go into the kitchen i never saw my dad do it and he for the, how many years he has lived in this life he has that his dad has never entered the kitchen so he's never going to do it for any woman at that point i'm like oh good good choice i made you know <laughs> good, so, job, <laughs> good job Elsie. so i mean you just need to have these conversations yeah. to know who you're getting in bed with and know if your values align it's not a big deal leave the feminism word i beg for where it has and serious the, also so the soft. obsession with dating is ridiculous to me because even when i give an example of my boss and stuff, it was like oh Oh, but it's true. I do submit to my boss, and that's okay. I submit to my friends. I submit to like my, my the banker, the person that controls my assets. Like I submit to a lot of people in, in different ways. But when it comes to men, there's an obsession mm. that like things have to be different, and I'm built for that. I'm made for that. So when I'm submitting to my boss, it's fine, even though I'm a feminist. But if I submit to my my man, then it's like all of a sudden a weird dynamic, and I've gone into another existential existence. Like calm down, okay? It's not that deep. Whenever you're ready.
Ok, so Ife is singing us out on this episode of Tea Time. And thank you, Ife, for singing <laughs> us out. Thank you for watching. I surrender. And do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, it goes to my very interesting co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shankaye. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa State Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.